talk so we'll put a bar in the background. I don't know how to hold my hands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back. We are running out of ways to sit on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Just being frank. Breaking with you. news. So let's talk about let's talk about the new additions slash trades. So kick, kick, kick it off with the trades. Uh, Moutier, we acquired uh, Manuel Moutier, who was in KP's draft class, and we wanted him originally. And we tra- we gave up the second You've round pick and Doug McDermott. How many decades now? <laughs> Yeah, uh, since Mark Jackson. Since the time of uh, Howard Isley. <laughs> since Stephon <laughs> Mulberry. Since Chris oh. Duhon. So what do you guys think about 21-year-old, 6'5", athletic, can't finish point guard? I thought it was great. Um, as you guys know, I've been giving Dougie McBuckets a lot of shit bye, this season. Bye, bye. I love what he initially did, and I love his cuts, but he was just so damn inconsistent. Part of me was a little too... I don't even uh, think inconsistent, because he stopped. <laughs> okay, he so just wasn't stopped. He just fell off the face of the <laughs> earth. But I was hoping that he was more of like a Steve Novak, you know, just spot-up shooter, you know, hit those threes, but he wasn't that. And we traded him for uh, Dougie and a second-round pick, and we got Moody. So yeah. I like it. I, I can't be Moody. mad at it. I mean, you're talking about an athletic guard still has upside that hasn't shown up yet yeah. um, and quite frankly it looks like after that old KP injury we're going to be bad for another season or yeah, two hands down. Or um, three. and that's the perfect time to have a 19 year old point guard and a 21 year old point guard who are 6'5 who could potentially play both guard positions I kind of well. have a feeling we got some like fight club shit going on right now why? We're at the Knicks. It's like four point guards, fight it out. Duke, Duke it, out. it out. Let's, let's see who. Well, to be fair, <laughs> one of those point guards shouldn't be even in the equation, and that's you, 45 year old Jared Jack. I apologize, but dog. And to be fair, only one point guard is still starting, and that is you, 45 year old Jared Jack. <laughs> and we don't know why. Because he's out here getting triple doubles. All right. One triple double. I right. think I think Jared Jack is having inappropriate relations with the coach because that's the only <laughs> definition I can come up with as to why he's starting right now. Maybe they just relate and have shit to talk about. That's that's, that's true. <laughs> They're only like four years apart. You know I like you. Go, I like you. Go out and stunt the game for me. Jared you remember what it was like using an eight-track player. <laughs> I promise you, this isn't as bad as it sounds. We actually really do. Enjoy I do. It. I do appreciate him yeah, because, sure. but it, it's not for this team right now. Right, we're we're not, not going no. to the playoffs. I'm sorry. ATL, right? It's not happening. All right, next trade. I loved you next trade that happened. Um, giving up Billy, Billy Hernan Gomez for two second round picks, one that we eventually. To 2021. Yeah, and and it's funny because we acquired him for two second round picks as well, Julia, which was uh, interesting. Broke so even. what's up? You broke even. I, Pretty much. It, yeah. So I want to quickly say something about this. Um, a lot of a lot of people were shocked by this trade, and we all, as fans, liked Billy Hernan Gomez for what he brought to the team. First year, there has to be a reason why he did not play at all. Two options: one, fat out shape, fat out shape. Yeah, that's, that's definitely one. Hit the I guess three options then. So, Spain. so fat and out shape, that could have been it. And he partied all all summer long. You know, who knows? But um, at the end of the day, he. He might not have been bringing it to practice. That's also another option where Cantor and O'Quinn were bringing it every single time. Um, and even Joakim Noah ended up getting a little more burn <laughs> than, than Billy was getting a few weeks ago. So all of that coupled together, I think that there was a serious ego issue here. I think yeah. Billy kind of just came in, thought that he would already get that starting spot. Work ethic might have gone out the window. Not for nothing, man. Thank us for fucking all we did for you as fans. And you didn't do that. You got traded. You put up your Charlotte Post. Yeah. That's it. So I feel some type of way. It's funny, man, because I feel like this this trade is multidimensional. You got to break it down a multitude of layers. Um, One, the first thing I just want to get out the way, that 2020 and the 2021 pick, uh, second round pick, Great move. They replenished two picks that we didn't have going forward. So, and we already know how valuable picks are in the NBA in today's day. Second um, rounds, yeah. Willie, man, like Far was saying, he came in there. I guess his head was too big for his game. 
but to skilled me, he player. Regressed. Yeah. But he didn't look as sharp as he did last season. I don't know if it was out of shape or maybe he was a little fatigued. Everyone's pointing to the playing time. Just unenthused. Or just unenthused. Everyone, but, but everyone's pointing to the playing the time. The biggest thing is we got rid of a player who essentially no longer wanted to be here. And you can never be mad at that. If a player doesn't want to be here, you got to let him go. And the biggest thing about it was, to be honest, if he had just shut his mouth, been humble, and practiced hard, and, and, and went out there and really tried to produce in the limited amount of minutes he had, chances are he would have been back in the rotation next year. Skill. Because KO is, is probably a goner. Yep. We're not going to re-sign him to a crazy deal. And Noah, he ain't never going to play in New York. So Willie may have gotten back uh, in the NBA uh, in, with the Knicks next year had he kept his mouth shut. Isn't that like a third person on the depth chart over in Charlotte? He He's, went from a log jam in yeah, New York to, to even log. bigger log jam in Charlotte where Dwight Howard is not losing his starting spot anymore. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Uh, they might so, trade Dwight. I mean, who knows? But it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be now. it's gonna be very interesting to see how Billy pans out with the Charlotte Hornets because that's it's gonna be telling. Yeah, good. Uh, riddance, very man. skilled player, but unfortunately, work ethic. We saw it over the summer. We called it out too. Like he looked like he partied a little too hard this summer. KP, his boy, was in the gym. And this is oh, something man. I want Jay to speak on because you and I were speaking off camera, and you said you thought we could have gotten a little more for him. We could have yeah, gotten a damn. late first round. But let me ask you this. In his skill set in today's NBA, especially him playing no defense whatsoever, doesn't really fit today's NBA. A low post scorer who doesn't rebound tremendously well and plays little to no defense. So why, why and, and tell me why you felt that he could get a I think his footwork. First round. Just hey. his footwork in the Alone? post. Yeah, I mean, that's something that's almost like artful, especially for his age. Mm. Um, and I think everything in life just comes full circle. So I know we have a certain period in the NBA right now, but who knows when sort of that half-court centric type of uh, team offense again will come back mm. into play. So I maybe mean, in three years from now, he'll be a great, phenomenal player. He's definitely got the skill set to do it. I think he's just immature. I think he's yeah, right. yeah. I mean, I saw even during the season, I see you posting more videos on your Instagram story of you playing video games Call and Call of Duty, Duty <laughs> versus in the gym busting your ass. That's telling. Regardless of if it was the case, whether you were playing more video games or not, Aesthetics, man. Do you know what that word means? Or are you just too immature to understand? I don't know. I don't know. You know, speaking about the videos and stuff, I think, you know, there, there are a couple of Knicks fans who are sad to see you go and, and really think that you can live up to this immense potential that you had at once upon a time. Mm -hmm. But I think more of us would have backed you had we saw you put in the work, kind of like what KP did in the offseason. If we saw you busting your ass, we, don't, we obviously can't see what you do at practice, but if we see you you know, working on a post game or working on defense, lateral quickness, trying to get your cardio, trying to get back into shape. I think more of us would have backed you and supported you and been like, hey, Willie could actually be a tremendous player. But I don't feel any sort of way. I'm glad we got two picks back. I will also say this, and this is contrary, kind of devil's advocate, but let's also not give the Knicks organization a whole lot of credit here. Look at the track record. Because if we are now officially on that two to three year rebuilding, whatever, Billy probably would have been great by then. Yeah, you know, just putting that out there. Also, they might have been keeping an eye on Luke Cornett and like, yo, we got something more special here, a guy who could actually shoot from outside. I know it's early, and by the time this is released, Cornett has only played two games. But let me ask you guys this. Going forward, right, whose game do you see more tailored fit for this team, side by side with Porzingis? Luke. Between Luke and Billy? Yeah. Ooh. Because both of them grab boards. I mean, that's the main grabs thing, boards. someone who grabs Luke, boards. Luke defends the, the basket better, and he shoots the three. Four blocks. Again, it's one game, but, I mean, we were watching him in the summer league. We were like, yo, this kid needs a contract. Yep. He got a contract after the first summer league game. We saw it right away. I'm not trying to overhype him, but he's yep. obviously got the skill set that, that the Knicks saw something enough to give away a young would, Billy Hernandez. For me, actually, I would say Billy, because I think Luke and uh, KP are going to play kind of similar roles. What's wrong both with that? Just Who's getting boards if you're both stretching the floor? They don't have to play together. He can come on for him. Stretch the floor. He also well, played predominantly if, if, center, if, if and he didn't do a bad job either. Out. He was center. Yeah. yeah. So, and he yeah. didn't do him a bad KP, job at all. Four or five. In spurts, that could be pretty nice. That could. We'll see. We'll that is, see. that is a stretch floor KP as stretch gets. His body is already weak at the four. Like, I, I don't know. All right, moving to shooting guard. It's a wrap. Point guard? 
I want, I Listen, know. if it was up to Jay, he'd have traded him. So it's funny. <laughs> let's 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 talk about Luke Cornett and and Isaiah Hicks. Of course, made his debut as well. And the, that kid's got some skill. He's got a decent shot. I think. Five points. North Carolina. I think. Uh, I think he was. was yeah, he he was uh, he was definitely oh, no, hesitant was at first. No, no Frank <sighs> played twenty something minutes and had five, five points. points. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I got that one correct. <laughs> um, so yeah, Luke Cornett obviously impressive. Isaiah Hicks, you know, it'll, it'll take some time for him. I think he'll he'll slowly start to mesh in, but he is athletic as. Yeah, he is. Um, now, uh, Damian Dotson. I mean, as soon as he he, he continues play. to try to get playing time, and it just doesn't really happen. He's still a sharp shooter. I believe in that kid. I think he's shot. one of those players that needs like a full on off season to yeah. get acclimated because he's gotten the short end of this. But thing. keep in mind, he's also twenty three years old. So yeah. He's he an should. Older player. He should be active. Keep in mind, we also have Harness Act as a coach. <laughs> Keep in <laughs> mind, that long, is true. Not for long, ladies and gentlemen. Not for long. Um, finally, finally, uh, not for long. Definitely our, not for long. Our favorite topic, Frank Nielakina. Um, uh, hmm. I am in the boat that he should just start and just throw him in the fire and see what happens start for consi- what? See what happens for a consistent period start of time. That's Kirk. it. For what? Winning? Like, we don't need to win. You know, at this point, yeah. I'm sorry, it's like, Jay. If you had asked me a week ago, I would have been on your side. Let's start Trey, Trey Burke. Burke he gives us the best chance well. to win. Trey Burke can develop Frank well. gives I'm us not the best saying, chance to lose right now. I'm not, and let's start Frank because he is not NBA ready. Plus... I see it as a win-win where we I, are probably going to lose and Frank still gets his burn and development I 100% in the process. agree with that. And you know what? And what's the point of him starting getting more burn if he's not even potentially be the starter next year? That's but, that, but you don't, we know, don't that. know that. We don't know who the hell's going to be starting. We have to see Frank shit the bed first before we're like, 100%. holy shit. He shit the bed already. Come yeah, as off, off the, the bench. bench. So off the bench, playing the seven, anywhere from seven minutes to 28 minutes. Like, there's no consistency in his playing minutes, time. 28 minutes, you're pretty much there, No, I'm saying there's the no, there's no consistency in playing yeah, no, time. Yeah. You're a professional. Be ready. I understand the whole rhythm thing. Like, you may not be in rhythm. But you're also a professional. Just be fucking ready. But I'm ready shooting the whole I think as Knicks fans, we're all just going to call on Frank to start. We just need to see what he can do. Yep. So I just, I have to see. Consistently, it. that's I've it. I've been I, so, like, underwhelmed. I've been for his head and underwhelmed about his, his play this season. I just need to see what he can do as a starter. Like, does this guy have the mental makeup? Because he goes out there and he seems timid still. Can he just go out there? I think and he has the mental makeup for the game. Again, going back to the LeBron James game, seeing stuff like that, that was beautiful. Oh, back when see. he had consistent playing time. Uh, sure. And he had a role. If you want to call it, he still has a role. It's What's his today. role? Fucking what do you know play. that we don't? Learn and play. Play and learn. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> uh, Speaking of role. Learn the American game. Lose the accent, bitch. <laughs> oh, damn it. Oh, whoa. whoa, whoa. All right, well, before Speaking we get the comments role, coming. Mills, Mills. Pills, pills, mills, and pills. Perry. Perry. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that guy, you know what I'm talking about. So Perry came out today and said that uh, we have no intention on sending Frank to the G League, but they also have no intention on starting him. And they have no intention on fully backing up with Jared Jack. So and they just acquired Emmanuel Moutier. And we still have a 25-year-old very no. good Trey Burke. I'm you, they got Fight Club going on. Nobody talks about it because obviously you can't talk about Fight Club. Yeah. But it's like, <laughs> you can't talk about Fight Club. Talk about Fight Club. <laughs> like, how many point guards can we get? And let's see who makes it out alive. <laughs> Survival of the fittest in the world. Right? I swear to God. So you have Nilakina. You have Moutier and you have Burke going into next season, right? There's no veteran point guard on that team. I'm 100% okay with that. Really? Next year? So they're going to fend for themselves? You're talking about the year that KP ain't coming back until yeah. after the All-Star break? I don't need a veteran point guard. That's fucking dreadful, though. Nilekina ain't going to learn shit. I would, I would much rather just have these three young guys as our point guards. Just fend and just, for themselves. Absolutely. You, you, don't, the you, don't, you, don't, you don't necessarily... It also depends on who the coach is, first of all. But Mark also... Jackson, you, we're rooting for you, baby. Hey. Let's go. Let's go, Mark. Let's see what happens. But I think also just veterans from other positions can just be like, yo, this You're is... right. Tim Hardaway got this. Tim Hardaway. <laughs> Tim Hardaway. No, 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 no. Michael Beasley got this. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. Even better. Better example. Michael Beasley got All this. All right. So let us know in the comments what you guys think about the trades we made, about Luke Cornett, about Isaiah Higgs, and about Frank's development so far. What's up, guys? This is your boy, TK, a.k.a. John Legend, as you guys know. I want to thank you guys for watching and please make sure you do subscribe 
And if you like what you saw from previous episodes or if you just like our faces, make sure you hit that subscribe button below. But wait, please hit that like, comment, and share as well. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.